My name is Wayne Dick, uh, from Alberta, Canada, and this is my 1962 Chevy Corvair Rampside pickup. I was in college 20 years ago, and this truck was at a wrecking yard in Idaho Falls, and they wanted $700 for it without a title, and at the time, I was living on a thousand bucks a month. That, was, that wasn't even an option, you know? I saw it on a Facebook swap and buy for men on Idaho. And uh, I called my buddy Cody, who lives in Idaho Falls, and I said, I'm gonna transfer you the money. I, I got it. At that time, it was $2,800. So, <laughs> but it didn't matter. I, I, I knew it was the same truck. I had to have it. So he went and grabbed it, brought it up to Canada, and it was, it was in pretty sad shape. You can see the body work that they did was not super awesome. And that's why I made sure I put Not Me on there. So at that point, I knew I wanted to do a V8 swap, but we weren't sure quite which direction to go. And we sat around for about three weeks staring at this thing in a pile of parts on the ground, kind of trying to figure out a, how we're going to do this, how we're going to make this work. It's a crate engine, 6.2 LS3, uh, RPM tuning in Lethbridge, Richter performance modifications. At 3,000 feet at our elevation, we've got 460 horsepower at the rear wheels and 583 foot-pounds of torque. And I'll tell you what, for a 95 inch wheelbase, it's amazing how straight this thing wants to track. You know, it as soon as you're into it, it wherever you point the wheels, that's where it wants to go. With the interior, we did a chrome Ollie roll bar in it. You know, you're the first on the scene in a Corvair ramp side pickup. There's nothing in front of you. Um, my knees are right behind the headlights on this thing. Okay, so this fuel cap is from Crafty B on Instagram. He sand casts those. Again, just one of the guys I follow, saw it, had to have one of those. Um, the steering wheels from Big Ron's Wheels, also on Instagram. So my buddy Colin owns New Image Upholstery in Lethbridge. He did the seat, which is also amazing because I literally took him two pieces of plywood screwed together with door hinges, and that's what he was able to come up with. So he knocked it out of the park. Um, but you know what? We put Airrex struts on it, it's Air Ride, and an AccuAir management system, and this thing handles like a dream. It's actually really fun to drive, you know, really fun to drive. I've burnt off lots of tires in my day and stuff like that, but I've never actually competed in anything. I came to LS Fest with the only expectation of knowing I was gonna have a good time. Next year, we're gonna be back. We're gonna have some of the rust repaired on this thing. I'm gonna make a few changes and hopefully be a little more competitive.